Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ninja Foodie Everyday Possible Cooker Pro. So I'm first going to talk about it, then I'm actually going to cook some rice with it. So this thing has some new features called white rice, brown rice, and oats. When we lift the lid, it's got a non-stick surface on the inside, but we've got some markings in here that are specifically for white rice, brown rice, and oats, which I'm going to show you when I cook some rice. There's the heating element, nice handles here. Really quick measurements before we start cooking. Nine and a, it's a nine and a half square. And then depth wise, looking at right around four and a half inches. Okay, so we turn it on. We've got slow cook, and then we're gonna change the functions. This light's gonna go down, braise, sear, keep warm. White rice, you, the screen, you're just gonna hit the start button and you're gonna fill it up accordingly. Same with brown rice, oats, and pasta. Pasta is a neat function. You can cook spaghetti noodles in here and then add your uh, meat and sauce later. So we can change the temperature and we can go to how many hours, I'm on slow cook now, so we can change the time. And you simply have a start button and a stop button and it is gonna beep at you to let you know when it's done. And there's the power button. I like that it comes with this Everyday Possible Cooker Pro cookbook. It talks all about there, and mainly we're gonna be doing the rice. It says, add your rice according to measuring cups. And I did rinse my rice first then you're going to add the, the stock or the water according to the marks on the pan and you're simply going to turn the function to rice and hit the start button. Okay, so I've got my white rice in there, two cups, looks like this is the minimum you can do. And so I'm going to follow this line on the left side, there's a two right there. I'm going to fill, fill it now up with water to the two mark. Alright, let's pour our water in. Doesn't take a whole lot of water, right about there. I just want to make the rice kind of even, there. Okay, let's move the function switch. Let's go to white rice. The little light is lit next to the white rice and I'm just gonna hit the start button. So it does beep at you and there's a thing going around. Let's start our stopwatch. So when you're cooking rice, brown rice, oats, it, that's gonna just be going around. You can't select temperature and time with it. So it is gonna beep at us to let us know when it's done. Now it does say on the box that it replaces 10 cooking appliances, a rice cooker, food warmer, non-stick pot, saute pan, cast iron skillet, slow cooker, saucer, saucepan, stock pot, and a Dutch oven. It can do up to four cups of rice or a seven pound roast. Okay, so right at the four minute mark, it looks like the water is starting to boil a little bit. Okay, 15 minute mark. Yeah, it's, it's cooking the water off pretty good. Okay, 25 minutes, it's still cooking, it's still going in a circle. Let's lift this up, yep, it's still cooking. It's gonna beep at us to let us know when it's done. Okay, so at the 26 mark, it beeped at me to let me know that it's done. It's just one single beep, 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 and now it's counting up because we're in keep warm. The keep warm light is lit, so it's gonna keep that rice warm, but let's see how it did. Okay, be careful, the handle's not too hot. Wow, it did a good job with the rice. Not too sticking to it, and yeah, it's doing a good job. Let's take it out. Nice big scoop. Yeah, it did a good job in here, the rice is. It's not sticking anywhere. And it makes some really, really good rice. And cleanup is gonna be very simple. Once we get all of our rice out of there, you know, I could even put that in the refrigerator, but I can take this out. I can put this pan in the dishwasher. Same with that lid. Now I can only wipe this bottom part off. So these handles do stay relatively cool. I mean, I would definitely maybe use a hot pad. These are definitely cool down here. So you could move the whole unit with these bottom handles. So I am really impressed with this Ninja Foodie Everyday Possible Cooker. I will be cooking some other recipes. I do like that the recipe book comes in here. We'll be doing some spaghetti and different things. I also have a comparison. This is their old, the older one. It is quite a bit bigger, but I have a comparison with the, the bigger Ninja Foodie Possible Cooker. And again, this does retail for around $130. It is brand new. I'm sure there's going to be different models come out. Um, if you could, underneath the video, give it a thumbs up. I will put a link to this in the show description notes. So I am a Ninja and an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. Yeah, I, I understand why they're calling it an everyday cooker. It's gonna highlight the rice and pasta and different things, whereas this one, you're gonna be maybe not using it quite as often, like for the bigger roast and things. So again, really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe.